Hello and welcome. Welcome to the International School of Traders. Welcome to the Wednesday Market Watch. Guys, I'm doing this uh, for the second time because the last time we did it at 12, we had a problem with uh, load shedding, right? So we want to look at a couple of trades that we have today uh, in the market. So if you can hear me loud and clear, just drop it in the comments and say you can hear me loud and clear, right? Good stuff. So I've already uploaded the video that we did uh, a few minutes ago, but I will be also linking it here uh, on this video right here on YouTube. So you are going to be able to see what is our plan in terms of our trading today, or what was our initial plan. Okay, so we're gonna go through uh, some markets. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's check into the markets today and see what we have. So in terms of the news items, uh, first of all, uh, I'm looking at what the news have for us. Uh, I'm looking at a couple of news, like the CPI, uh, consumer price index. Consumer price index is very important, a very important indicator, economic indicator. Uh, let me see here what's going on. Why am I not? Okay, sorry about that, guys. I'm not too sure what's going on with the technicals this side, but we are looking at, we are looking at what the market has for us. Let's quickly check. Uh, let's look into what the fundamental news have for us this afternoon. Let me just quickly go first. This uh, when we look at into the fundamentals, we are always uh, in most cases we are checking what the fundament what is scheduled for today before we start trading you know like malala pipes or whatsoever looking at retail sales in south africa they came out bad and then looking at some uh, some other uh, items uh, these ones are not really important the mortgage finance index the ones that are important uh, are a little bit up but they're already gone let's look at what we have today so uh, right now, or just an hour ago, the OPEC monthly report has already come out. Uh, and then real earnings um, month on month, and then the CPI index, which is consumer price index, uh, is coming out in 16 minutes. We do have the, uh, the, the core CPI, which is the consumer price index. Later on tonight at 8 o'clock, please do, uh, please do uh, watch out for the uh, what is this? Hey, okay. The federal budget and the uh, and the uh, federal minutes uh, meeting minutes, uh, which is the FOMC, right? That has a high in, that has a high impact in the market. So let's look to the market very quickly. Uh, we were looking to to sell around here, but not trading came uh, here or up here. This is GDPUSD, right? Uh, 30 minute time frame, uh, but we're already late, so we're not going to be concentrating on this one. So, looking at this one, looking at this one, we are going to uh, uh, look at Euro USD. Now, on Euro USD, this is my expectation, guys. This is one hour time frame. Um, I'm expecting markets to bounce on this level and come down a little bit, right? Just a little bit. So. Let me just mark out something here uh, so that we can be on the right uh, side of things. Mm, this is looking beautiful. Uh, let's go back to an outside frame. Okay, let's go down to smaller time frame. Um, so for me, this is a this is going to be a perfect entry. This is going to be a perfect and even though this can start changing from now in the next 15, 16 minutes or so, uh, but this one up here is a perfect point. Let's put a small trade there. Let's 
share with you the details right here. So uh, the expectation is that the market is going to be like this, right? Expectation is that the market is going to. This is green. That's a very important level in the one house. Very, very important. So this is my expectation, right? So, so I don't know what to do. Okay, so let's continue. Um, So, um, just to see HF, right? Just to see HF, look at what's going on here. Obviously, some people look at this and say this is a head and shoulders, blah, blah, blah. But look at this as, as a, 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 a bullish market. The market broke out this very important some sort of a triangle here, then uh, came down. It is now bouncing at support here. Market can still push towards the downside once again. Uh, further and further, but we do have that small buy in place for now, right? Cool. So we are looking at this trade closely and we are monitoring this trade. We want to see what the market has for us at this one. XAUUSD. Um, now, XAUSD. I don't want to sell, but this is looking like it's going to sell anytime soon, right? Let me check something here. I'm using Phoebs to check what's going on here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the 61.8. Uh, this is the 61.8 right here. So that is why I'm seeing some sort of a, uh, that's the high probability of this market changing direction just once I once again. Um, if not, I'm going to use these levels up here. Now, um, this is the ultimate level for me. Um, I am, because this market is looking more bullish, I am going to wait for market to come down. Last night we bought here, uh, and here on gold, and then on gold, and then you guys did buy on the group. Uh, but I'm not in the free group, it was not shared in the free group. Um, USDCAD, uh, P. GBPCHF, uh, guys, this one is witchcraft, no? Uh, this one we are looking to sell, no? Okay, I cannot say anything. Uh, there's nothing much that I would say. <laughs> I wanted to take this trade, you know? But obviously, we moved. Cat CHF, I really wanted to take that trade. And then this one, this is the other one that I've been looking at for the last couple of days. Still in a bullish format, I love that. Uh, if this market can push like this, this is a very important level in our daily time frame. But come down again, this, this can be very, very beautiful, right? So what are we gonna do now? Uh, I'm going to put sell limit order here. Let's go back to a bigger time frame. So let's actually why we do this. Okay, before we do that, let's, uh, let's set out the stop loss and let's take a look at this one. Ah. CHF stop loss is going to be at uh, two. 
CSR things. Let's go to frame for our body. So daily, this is a good resistance level that was used by markets a long time ago. So you're going to use that same level to start selling all the right? So that is why you know smaller time frames we work for that. Even though the market is currently bullish for now, which means that uh, for buyers, uh, there's a high chance that when market reaches this level, uh, this level down here, market will start to lose interest. In so that's okay, right? Uh, let's see. Okay, we currently at 50%. It's very low. Uh, let's see how things go, but this would have been a good trade. Take a buy down here. It's just the top side. Okay, good stuff. NZT USD. Okay, on NZT USD, there's a couple this is that I'm looking to sell. Right? This is where I want to sell, or this is where I want to sell. There's no other place. This is only one other thing. This is where I want to sell, and this is where I want to sell. That's where it's currently happening. I don't want to be part of it, right? Uh, let's go to smaller time frames. Okay. Let's wait for it. Wait for it to push up. Seems like it's gonna bounce here. Then change it to a Seems like it's gonna bounce here. Then change it to a okay. Cool stuff. Okay. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me. If you are seeing this on YouTube, please do watch the previous videos that I did here and subscribe to this channel. Uh, if you haven't watched the previous one, please do watch the previous ones. Guys, uh, for the one, for people who are in, uh, coming to the office this coming Saturday, uh, this coming Saturday on, on Thursday, we are having an office, office session from iTabo. I see you have, you are raising your hand. So you can just, just write your comment down here. I'm gonna wait for you to come. Uh, but uh, for those who are coming to the office, and please uh, do make sure that you are booked. I have only two or one seats left. I'm gonna check. Uh, I think there's two or one seats left for Saturday in Rose Bank, uh, nine o'clock till uh, till three o'clock. Nine o'clock till three o'clock. So that is going to be the forex session, right? Good enough. 